Hello everyone, are you looking to create a subscribe button just like this? Then just follow and I'll show you how. Thumbs up, play button, a logo or a cursor. Logo can be anything. Media and can be in it, right? So let's start from the beginning. So this is the only four things I, I have. We're gonna right click in a new fusion composition. Let's call this YouTube to pry but gonna keep it at 24 frames per second and we're gonna create a 10 second clip okay now we have a youtube subscribe fusion composition right here we're gonna pick it up we're gonna drop it in our timeline all right and now after we do that we're gonna jump straight to fusion at the bottom of the screen right side of edit we're gonna jump into it fusion now as you can see in fusion the only thing we have is our media out empty fusion composition and we will start building it as we go our first step is i want to create a background i'm gonna just leave my background i'm gonna connect it straight to media out i like working on a black background so i'm gonna keep my background black if you want to change the colors feel free to change to any color you like again i prefer black for now next thing we want we would like to have few rectangles one on top of the other one to create an animated button let's get a mask rectangle mask uh we'll get a background and we'll get a transform node and a merge node so this node's four nodes we need these to start building we'll connect them all together and on the rectangle we're going to change the background of this one to white because i want the white to be sort of my template where my scribe will go on so adjust it to the size you like i'm going to keep it something like this see it is where we want it i think it looks decent it may be a little bit too big but for the sake of this video and i even keep it a little bit a little bit more bigger make sure it comes out a little bit like this all right i think this is pretty good pretty big like i said the reference is, is your reference i would like to change the corner radius right here on the right to 0.3 so i can have smooth corners okay next thing we want to do we're going to add two more of these rectangle layers rectangle mask background our transform and our merge and we'll connect them all together again except for this background i want to change the color of this background to dark red press ok make it a little bit more darker that's good go back to go back to rectangle adjust adjust the size of this to the actual subscribe and we'll see it right make it a little bit bigger and let's see it right here i think that's good enough we adjust the corner radius to 0.3 as well now we have a good corners we would like to add one more or exactly the same so we're gonna just drag and highlight all all these nodes and copy and we're just gonna paste right there and we'll just pull this media over here and we'll connect our media out back now we have two exactly the same except for this background we'll change it to bright red we'll press ok we'll highlight our rectangle and we're we'll just gonna move it up just a bit to give us the impact Version of a button and if voila right there it may be a good idea to move the other white rectangle just a little bit higher like this and we can move this one a little bit more higher to give us a bigger button all right so far looking good we can change a little darker to this background right there sounds good our next step is we're gonna add text and the way we add text is simple pick up your text we'll pick up our transform and we'll pick up our merge and i'll just connect them all together there you go we good on our text let's just type in subscribe looking good we'll pick it up and we'll drop it right there we'll make it a little bit smaller maybe not too small i think right there is perfect all right subscribe right there is perfect the next thing i want to put i want to add a youtube play button next to it so that's where we get our youtube button and i connect it to our transform and from our transform we're gonna connect it to our merge and we'll make it smaller so it fits next to our, our square right here a little bit more smaller i think that looks pretty decent yeah definitely that looks pretty good all right our next step right now is to get our thumbs up and we'll just pick up our thumbs up we'll connect it to a transform and we'll connect it to a merge connect them all together change the size and drop your thumbs up right there the next thing i want to do is bring my logo bring my logo we'll bring my transform and we'll bring a merge and we'll merge them all together and we'll just drop it right right there 
make it a little bit more bigger and if voila now we finish building our template i still would like to make my my subscribe just a little bit smaller so that way when we animate the subscribe button after you hit after you click on subscribe i would like to change the letters to subscribe and keep it as as that so if i add a d i should have enough space subscribed this is perfect all right and now do we have we have all our pieces the only thing we need to add right now is our cursor we'll bring our cursor in we'll connect it to our transform and we'll connect to to our merge which is all the merges connected to media out just an fyi we'll connect to our transform we'll make our cursor smaller and we'll just drop it on our subscribe button let's see how that looks. yeah it looks pretty decent good size so right now that we finished with all our pieces we would like to start animating everything and again it's always a good idea to name all your media and everything that you put in so that we always remember i didn't name them because i know exactly what I, what steps i take and let's animate our cursor first and the way we do that let's choose a frame where we want the the animation to begin click on the diamond key for the center position and we're gonna set in n keyframe over there at the 60 i want my cursor to go up and hit the subscribe button right there and that's out and at 65 i want it to go and hit my thumbs up so it's gonna go hit my subscribe and hit my thumbs up and then a hundred frames i want it to come back down and disappear let's see how that's gonna play if it's too fast we can adjust it it doesn't seem too bad but it is giving it that little jump you know so we can fix that by opening our spline our spline men menu we pick the transform our transform because that's what we added these are our keyframes that we just added make sure it fits the screen highlight everything and right click and just put in a smooth and you can actually adjust more smoothness to it but we'll keep it as just like as that so let's see let's play it that's more smoother right now than it was before that's perfect uh we can also to adjust this keyframe right here this one i don't want it to start at 60 five i want to move it to more like 70 75 so let's change this to 75 and we should have a much smoother transition in with the pointer okay click and bam so now we are done animating our cursor so the next thing we want to animate is our uh, subscribe button and the way we do that we're gonna choose our bright red rectangle that's why naming your node is very important this is my bright red rectangle and i'm gonna actually animate just a rectangle so i want to do it as soon as my mouse hit my subscribe button i want to get in and right right before it leaves i want it to get out right here so it's gonna look something like this up and as soon as it leaves i want this to go back up just like that so now if you play it we should see this cursor comes in button goes down it is too fast we again let's fix this one in our supply our uh, so we're gonna just this one we're done with it we're gonna work on our rectangle shape right here so we're gonna see fit all and we'll just put in again smooth and we may be able to move just a third to the right but let's see how this is gonna work out in real life play it is too fast way too fast i'm gonna put this one so this keyframe right here so this one is at 59 so i'm gonna change this to 59 and then it comes up and we'll change this one here 63 all right so let's see how it works out right now play all right much more much better much smoother all right now that we have these as you can see once our subscribe button right here goes down our play button stays put and that's not good so the way we're gonna do this we're gonna set up our play our let's close our spline 
and let's go to our media our play logo we're gonna choose the transform node that's the, that's the one we're gonna keyframe right now and we're gonna keyframe it exactly the same way as we did the the rectangle we set up our keyframe by the next one right there i want this play button to be right here all right deal so we should move with it it's good and as soon as he moves back right here i want my play button to go back to where it was right there all right so let's play and let's see how that goes perfect that looks much better let's play it and let's see you can see my play button stays a little bit at the bottom so let's fix that so let's go back to our transform i think where we add in who's here at the beginning this thing has to go up here let's go back same place all right that's, that's perfect so all what we did is we adjusted our play button to go back to the same position as it went down and let's see how that's gonna play in real life let's make this one a little bit bigger of this let's keep this just as a one window let's make this one with the screen and let's see if we can play it play. perfect it plays perfectly for us just the way we want it to play our next move right now is we're gonna animate this thumbs up as soon as the cursor goes on it goes and gives you thumbs up and let's do this so we want to animate it right before the cursor gets to it we can animate the size and as soon as we go in right there i want my size to increase just a tad bit and let's see so now my mouse comes up click sub subscribe goes clicks my thumbs up and as soon as the cursor leaves right above here i want my thumbs up to go back more all right let's see so comes up clicks goes back goes back down that's perfect that is perfect right there that's exactly what we want let's play it play boom boom beautiful beautiful just need to add some sound effect and that's it let's see if i want to add another keyframe to where right here right there actually right there let's add this one to same way so as soon as it comes up let's angle it angle it just a tidbit like this let's do this so we'll start our keyframe from here and we'll start with a straight angle straight angle right there and let's set our keyframe right there and then once he moves i want my angle to be just a bit like this and set it up and when he comes up he goes boom backward boom and over here i want to set it to go back the same position set so now as he plays oh that's so good so satisfying to watch it all right let's watch it in our real life right now let's play this is gonna be added to any clip you please there you go you get a subscribe button you can also add sound to it where you have the clicking sound and you have the bell sound for the thumbs up you can do that if you want to see how you add sound to your uh, subscribe button uh do subscribe leave us a comment and we'll be happy to create more videos more simpler davinci resolve videos just like this one i hope everything made sense where we went over today and if you do have a question feel free to reach us through the comment we do read all our comments we reply to all of our comments and hopefully we'll be able to help out i'll uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Stay positive and peace.